Oh, this is file art. Um, I'm going to show you a DPS crit build. You can see that I just, um, my Churning Earth just hit for 7,400. Let's go attack something Lord. here. You can see even my auto attacks uh, do pretty good. Right off the bat, my gear is Berserkers. It's called Snapdragon because I infused it, but Berserkers has power, precision, and crit. You can see I have the Rune of the Scholar, which adds power and crit damage. Um, my trinkets, um, if you're going full glass cannon, there's power, precision, crit. That's the ruby uh, trinkets. But um, I like mixing some vitality in there, so I got uh, some barrel stuff in here that's power vitality and crit damage. Uh, it's nice having some vitality or toughness. You see on my spine gourd I have some uh, vitality and toughness. Um, so you can max things out all the way, but sometimes if you just mix things up a little bit, it'll be quite fun. Alright, so let's talk about how a crit build works this uh, added precision and added crit damage from our gear comes over here and increases our critical damage and our critical chance so my critical chance is 24 percent that means that one in four of my uh, attacks will be a critical yeah, on average so but when i have a critical hit uh, that critical damage is increased by 69%. Let's go ahead and just look and see how crits work. If you ha take Churning Earth here, um, the standard damage is 2600. Whenever you crit, you're going to hit for 150% of that base damage. So that would be 3900 damage. Um, now, if you go ahead and add my additional crit damage here and my crits will not hit for hundred and fifty percent they're gonna hit for two hundred and nineteen percent you add this sixty nine to hundred fifty so so now my turning earth is gonna hit for fifty seven hundred base damage so that's kind of the sheer mechanics of, of a crit damage you want to add your crit add to the crit damage to get more damage when you crit and then you want to increase your critical chance so you're critting all the time so let's look at the rest of this build um, there's more to it than that um, I have this skill right here called arcane power which makes my next five attacks do critical damage that's why I'm okay with sacrificing some of this critical chance for vitality because I know that when I'm when I'm hitting some of these skills, I can force myself to crit. Um, right here I have a Cleansing Fire, which is great. Cures conditions, breaks you out of stun, and it burns foes, so that's a great one. Glyphs of Storms, um, you know, you can mix some of this stuff up and do whatever you enjoy. We'll talk about the Elite here in a second. So let's look at our traits. We have 20 in Arcana, and that's going to grant us Fury for two seconds on Attunement. So whenever I attune, it's going to give me some Fury. Uh, this next one is going to give me Arcane Power at 75% health. Now this is nice. See Arcane Power here? It makes my next five attacks do crit damage. So that's pretty nice. It's gonna, it means we're going to be attack, uh, critting more often. Elemental attunement is nice, so whenever we attune to the different elements, me and all of my allies get might, regeneration, swiftness, etc. So you can see the goodies that I get down here. I channel the flames. Now this might that I'm getting when I, I attune is because of my weapon. The superior sigil of battle will give you three stacks of might when you swap to this weapon. So, I'm an elemental. I don't have an actual weapon swap, but this counts as a weapon swap right here. 
So every 20 seconds I can get at least three stacks of might, which is very nice. Uh, and then my other weapon, um, this isn't necessarily the best thing to have um, extra condition damage, but um, you could do something like a su superior sigil of accuracy and get uh, some additional critical damage. No big deal. Now, by the way, you don't have to do dual, dual daggers. You can use this crit build with um, any other weapons. But, you know, you just have to try it out and uh, modify it to your liking, you know, till you're doing what you enjoy doing. I enjoy the daggers because it's um, probably the best DPS you can get. Um, but it's also fun and active. You're always moving around. You have a lot of uh, controlling and knockdowns and so forth. Okay, let's look at some more stuff here. Water magic. Arcane and signet skills cause vulnerability. Well, no big deal. We get an extra extra healing, extra vitality. This is an arcane skill right here that we're going to be using all the time. It's also being triggered here, so we're going to make our foes more vulnerable as we're attacking. And then earth magic, 5% more damage when you're within a distance of 50. So, since I'm using daggers, I'm going to be real close to my foe, so I chose this one. No big deal. 20% um, more damage to foes with less than 33% health. Kill this thing here. I don't know what that guy's agenda was, but he failed. <laughs> anyway um, and then our fire um, our heaviest hitting skills are going to be earth and fire magic so you want to put uh, that's why I put some some traits in both of them so we got increased power condition duration we got increased crit damage right here um, we deal 10% more damage while attuned to fire and conjured weapons have 10 more charges so the conjured fiery greatsword which is a fun skill as it is um, why not make it even more viable let me kill something here you can see that it does massive damage Especially to uh, it's AOD damage. So so if you have uh, groups that you're attacking, oh, it's very nice. And you can share your sword with uh, other members of your team too. 